Hello, my name is Dr. Tiwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about Klobuchar Buki syndrome. Klobuchar Buki syndrome is a rare but devastating neurological disease. We have some questions and answers. How the Klobuchar Buki syndrome is caused? By definition, Lower Buki syndrome is caused by bilateral ablation of large part of the temporal lobe, including the temporal pole, amygdala, hippocampal formation, and the anterior temporal neocortex. And this bilateral ablation causes Lower Buki syndrome. This syndrome is demonstrated in animal as well as in human. It was first experimented in the monkeys. What are the characteristic features of Kluber Busi syndrome? Docile behavior, placidity. The animal become or the diseased person may become very docile without any anger, without any fear, without any frustration. They are very docile, their behavior is very docile, fearless. Animal is not afraid of threat. Hypersexuality, the sexual activity increases. The global bushy animal mount on anything, it may be the same species, maybe it, it can mount on other species. It may mount, uh, mount, mount on the opposite sex, it may mount on the same sex. Hyperphagia, too much eating, visual agnesia, psychic blindness, the animal can see everything but cannot recognize them. So same subject or same object is touched and smelled repeatedly and due to visual agnosia animal cannot discriminate the dangerous object from the usual object so even animal can touch or eat something toxic or poisonous animal other animal like snake okay so you got that then hyper orality Clover Buki syndrome is associated with too much checking by mouth by licking or, or touching by mouth, hyper orality, hyper sniffing, too much sniffing, too much olfaction, smell to get smell of any object, hyper metamorphosis, excessive reaction to light. And Clover Glover Busey syndrome may be associated with aphasia, that means inability to talk, amnesia, lack of memory, dementia, lack of memory plus cognitive dysfunction or loss of judgment capacity. Okay, so these are the usual features of Glover, Glover Busey syndrome. And by definition, global abuse syndrome is caused by bilateral lesion to the temporal lobe. And that includes large part of the temporal lobe. Okay, so if you look at the image, global abuse syndrome. Okay, this image has been taken from Microsoft PowerPoint. Global abuse syndrome. We have the damage to the temporal lobe of the brain. Okay. This is the inferior surface. This is the superlateral surface of the temporal lobe of the brain. And here, the animal, specifically the male animal with Kluber Busey syndrome, they mount on anything, maybe in the in a different spaces, like here. The here it is different spaces okay so this may happen or the dog may may just 
mount on the cat or cat may mount on the dog like that okay it may be male may be female so there is no discrimination this is hypersexuality the feature seen in experimental monkey visual agnosia so a monkey is seeing everything and it can touch a snake okay because it is seeing everything but it cannot recognize the the dangerous object or dangerous creature increased oral tendency to touch everything checked by licking or or touching by mouth decrease emotional reaction so no fear no anger no frustration okay hypersexuality like this and hypermetamorphosis that means excessive reaction to light and we have to add one more thing excessive appetite hyperphagia excessive appetite okay so what are the etiologies of global bussy syndrome in human human may also have closer bussy syndrome although it was first discovered in monkey in human the following are the causes of global bussy syndrome Temporal lobe surgery for epilepsy, usually bilateral surgery. Viral encephalitis, herpes syntax virus infection to the temporal lobe bilaterally. Temporal lobe contusion due to head injury. Alzheimer's disease, peak disease, bilateral temporal lobe stroke. Okay. So here, epileptic temporal lobe. Of the brain here is temporal lobe we are seeing hyper dense area here so if we take out these two lobe then there will be clover busey syndrome herpes syntax encephalitis may spread to the brain substance okay if it involves two side of the two temporal lobe then there will be clover busey syndrome okay we got that what is the etiology of docileness and hypersexuality? Docileness and hypersexuality are linked, are linked with destruction of amygdala. What causes visual agnosia? Visual agnosia is due to lesion in the visual association area of the inferior surface of the temporal lobe. Are the symptoms always permanent? Are a R E R. The symptoms are always permanent. The symptoms may be transient in cerebrovascular accident or head injury or permanent in as in bilateral herpes syndrome infection, bilateral temporal lobectomy. Now question come, is it always bilateral lesion of the temporal lobe? Okay. Recent study has found that in many cases, only one-sided temporal lobe lesion may cause global Bussy syndrome. Okay, it may be unilateral under certain circumstances like stroke to the temporal lobe. So, is it permanent? Are the symptoms permanent? Not necessarily. It may be transient. It may be permanent. What is the treatment outcome? Treatment is supportive. Treatment outcome is often unsatisfactory okay and that's all about the clover busy syndrome if you have any question about clover busy syndrome please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends and please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice day bye now